What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today we've got this Easter design where we've got a paper cutout egg with that beautiful depth in there and shadows. Now there's a link in the description down below to everything you're going to need, the canvas size, palette and any brushes that I've used that are not built into Procreate so hit the requirements down below first and when you come back we can get cracking on this beautiful design. So with all that said, let's get started. So once you've created your canvas, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to our actions. We're going to go to our canvas and we're going to turn on the drawing guide because we're going to need that throughout the design. If we edit that drawing guide and we go to the option down here in the bottom right of symmetry, we're going to use this option here. Now you can make the line whatever color you like. I'm just going to leave it as is and hit done. And whatever we draw on one side now will reflect on the other. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is go to our layers. And we're actually just going to tap on the layer for a second and turn off the drawing assist. We're then going to go ahead and go to our brush library and we're going to use calligraphy and the monoline brush. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is draw in a circle at the bottom of the screen and pop your finger on the screen to make sure it's nice and perfect. So something roughly like that for size. Grab your cursor, tap on it and then pop that on that line in the middle until you get the orange line running from top to bottom. Now to get that turn on snapping here in the bottom left hand corner and then while we've still got the cursor selected we're going to go to the warp option. And in the bottom right, we're going to simply tap on the center line of our egg here. So just tap somewhere here and then drag straight upwards. So tap there, drag upwards until you create an egg shape. Make sure you draw in a straight line and that will give you your egg. And then you can tap on your cursor when you're done and you've got your egg shape ready to go. Now grab your cursor again and go to the uniform option. And just pop that in the middle of the screen until you get the orange lines horizontally now as well as vertically. That will let us know we've got the perfect ratio. And if you want to, you can increase your egg size up a little bit more just to fill up a little bit more of the screen. If you want to, you could use the freeform option. Maybe you'll make it a little bit wider here and there. But something like that is pretty much bang on. So something like that and then tap on your cursor when you're done. Then we're going to go ahead and drag in black to the outside for a second because that's the color we were just using. And then this layer here at the very top is our cookie cutter shape and hides a lot of the excess. So now that's in place, we can start to build out our layers going down. So let's use the correct colors. So go to your colors first of all, and grab this color here on the far right, far right column on its own and drag it onto the black space like so. So it's just slightly off white. Then go to your layers, create a new layer and drag it underneath right to the very bottom. So underneath our egg shape and go to your colors and then grab this color here on the sixth column, it's the only color in it, drag it into the center. And this is our very background color. So let's go ahead and start building out all the different layers first of all, and then we'll get into details and then we'll get into highlights and shadows. So let's go to our layers. The top egg here at the top, we're gonna to swipe it to the left and duplicate it. We're gonna to go to the bottom one now, go to your colors. And then this is our primary set of colors and this is their corresponding shadow color. And we're going to start from left to right and make our way down. So we're going to grab the blue in the top left of the palette and drag it into this outer space here. Now I've let go. You won't see any visual change, but check your layers. You'll end up with a nice cream layer and then a blue layer. Grab your cursor and the uniform option Then grab this node in the top right, scale that down in size a little bit and pop it on the orange lines until you end up with a running gap like that around the outside. And then you can go ahead and tap on your cursor when you're done. And we're going to repeat that for the next layer down. So go to your layers, swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The bottom blue layer, go now to your colors, grab this orange color, drag it onto the blue space, then grab your cursor and then uniform that down and then pop that again towards the center of your canvas. Now making sure your gap as you go down is progressively the same. Tap on your cursor when you're done. And we need to keep repeating this until we've done all the colored layers. So go to your layers, swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out of the orange layers here, go to your colors, grab the pink color and drag and drop it onto the orange area. Then again, grab your cursor, uniform it down in size and then pop it back in the middle and making sure your gap is exactly the same as you progress down. Tap on your cursor when you're done. Let's continue on to the next one. So going back to our layers and swiping it to the left and duplicating it. Grabbing the bottom one out the two. Go to your colors and we've got purple next. So grab the purple on the fourth color on that top row. Drag and drop it into the pink space here. Grab your cursor. 
uniform it down in size and pop it in the middle on those orange lines and again make sure your gap is consistent as you make your way down tap on your cursor when you're done and now you've done that you've got all your layers making their way down and now we can get into just creating some different patterns so for this we're going to go up to our layers and we're going to go right to the top and work on the cream layer at the very top that masks everything nicely together we're going to go to this layer and tap on it and use the drawing assist we're going to go to the correct color for it so the same as it which is this one over here on the far right column on its own and then i'm going to use the monoline brush still and we're just going to draw in some different patterns you just create some different designs. So I'm going to make my brush size about 20% here. I'm going to do a nice little band across the top. So making a curve like so. And then I'm going to do another curve underneath that again. Little band. And then I think I might introduce some sort of like cracking at the top. So little zigzags and then link them up in the middle. And then drag then drop that colour into that little space there. And then you've got your first part of your egg. So now I'm going to work across the bottom here and create a band. Again, and all your styles for each individual layer should pretty much be the same as you make your way down so this one here I'm doing some bands on here and so you should try and just replicate that the whole way down so I've created some bands I can drag and drop the color into like so but I'm going to leave that layer as is now and progress down a layer so once you're happy with that go to your layers I'm going to go to the blue layer now which means I need to also tap on the layer and drawing assist it I need to go to my colors and grab the blue color in the top left of the palette and now work on a design for this one now our bunny is going to sit down here so i am going to create like a ledge again so a little band across the bottom here like so and then i'm actually just for the sake of the design probably just going to band underneath it as well now you can't see that but if i drag and drop my color in i've actually created like a little space here just for the bunny to sit on so for the top area i think i'll create a little band for this one little curves like so and then replicate that in here as well and then drag and drop my color in because it goes side to side i can do exactly that now while you're also here you can go ahead and grab your eraser tap on your eraser and go to your calligraphy option and the monoline brush reduce your brush size down to the same size about 20 percent and then go ahead and just zoom in and create some detail so just maybe create a band here so some nice little creasing almost and let's go ahead and do a little band there and then do a band that runs across the middle there like so and that's just going to act as some nice little extra detailing as we go through it now while we're on this layer let's go to our layers and create another new layer just briefly and then go to the brush that i've added in the description which is going to go into your imported section and you're going to want to find the bunny stamp now i'm going to go ahead my brush size is about sort of 25 percent it doesn't really matter but if you tap in the middle of the screen you get your bunny and then you're going to want to go ahead and grab your cursor and you want to uniform that down a little bit you don't want it too big because we need all the space for extra details but we want to pop it on this blue band here so i'm going to go ahead and just pop that down here and making sure it's nice and central like so hitting that orange line down the middle and that should just about do it so the size of mine there if i tap on the node is 358 by 358. tap on your cursor when you're done so that's that layer dealt with let's move down a layer to the orange section so let's go to our layers let's first of all pinch the two blue layers together which was the bunny and the actual egg so pinch them together let's go down a layer to the orange one and tap on it first of all and turn on the drawing assist and then switch our color out to the correct color which is the orange so the second color on that top bro and then i'm going to go to my brush library and go back to calligraphy and the monoline brush and then start painting in the next set of details so i'm going to go ahead and introduce a band that's going to run somewhat across here so creating an arc holding my pen down and then creating an arc again holding at the end like so and then you can drag and drop your color in. now you notice i've left a bit of a gap here so i can peer through in a second and do some details further down but in that gap what you could then also do is increase your brush size up to 100 percent potentially and then just dot your monoline brush across here almost creating like a little beads design go all the way across now you can if you want to just go up to your layers and turn off the bunny for a second and just add in some dots like so just creating like a little band and go back to your layers and turn on the bunny layer again so the blue one and you can maybe introduce two bands if you want to maybe reducing your brush size down to about sort of 60 percent and then creating some more dots 
underneath, making sure they all touch, of course. Just to make sure they've got something to hang on to. I'm going to guesstimate where they are, just through here, and that's fine by me. We've got just a bit of detailing that you're actually going to see. And then while I'm on the same layer, I'm going to go to my eraser. I'm still using the monoline as the eraser. I'm going to maybe max, let's make this stuff sort of about sort of 70 percent. Let's go ahead and introduce some dots in here for extra detail like we did above. So I'm going to tap directly on the line and then I'm just going to create a sort of up and down dotted design across. Making sure we don't run into the actual outer rim of the egg just to roughly there. You want to keep all your detail with inside the egg, not onto these little layers on the outside. Now the next layer down is the pink one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my colors. Let's go down to the pink layer, tap on that and add the drawing assist. And then I'm going to go to my colors and switch it out to the pink. So the third color on that top row. Go to my brush library, continue with the monoline brush. Again, I'm going to just introduce some shapes. So creating a curve arc there across the middle. Like so, this is going to be sort of the main background behind the bunny, I guess. And then drag and drop that into that space. So quite a big chunky band on this occasion. But then I'm going to go ahead and grab my eraser. And then for this one, I'm going to draw in some lines that go up and down. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off the bunny layer again, just so I can see what it is I'm looking at. And then on this layer, I'm going to start adding in some cutout lines. So I've dropped my brush size down to about 30%. I'm going to create an arc, just a slightly loose curved line. Make sure my gaps are exactly the same as I go. And now I'm going to progressively make them smaller as I get closer to the edge. And just let them run out into nothing towards that outer edge there. Then I'm going to go back and turn on the bunny layer. And then we've got the pink layer now done. I'm going to go down a layer to the purple layer. So go to my layers. Tap on the purple layer and also tap on it again to turn on the drawing assist. Let's go to our colors and grab the purple, the fourth color on that top row. And I'm going to introduce the final bits of detail. So I'm going to increase my brush size up to 100%. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and introduce some bouncy lines and then another one here. Make sure they look nice and even like so. And then really at this layer, you can start to just fill out all the extra gaps if you've got any still remaining. So something maybe like that. And then maybe even just a curve at the bottom here just to add something in behind there. And at this point, you can go back and take a look at any of your layers and see if you want to make any further adjustments in terms of adding more detail or removing detail. So now you've got all your basic shapes ready to go for highlights and shadows. I just want to take a break for a second and show you some of the designs that I've been posting over on my Patreon. Patreon supporters get three exclusive tutorials every single month, as well as early access to YouTube and Patreon videos and sneak peeks of designs way before they go live. So hit the link in the description down below. There's also a link to see all of the tutorials you unlock when you become a patron. And with all that said, let's get back to the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to the highlights and shadows section. So this is where we go ahead and introduce all the shadows first of all. So to do that, we go to our layers and there's gonna be a few repeating actions here that we're gonna do repetitively, but it's the same thing for each individual layer. So the very top layer, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is add the shadows. So to do that, we go ahead and swipe the layer to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out the two, we tap on the layer and we go ahead and turn off the drawing assist. We tap on the layer and alpha lock it. We go to our colors and we go ahead and grab the corresponding color for it. Now the corresponding color is based on the layer that's underneath it. So this is white and the color underneath is blue. So underneath the blue column here, we've got this dark blue here. So I'm going to grab this color here, the first color on the bottom left of the palette. And we're essentially going to work from left to right on this bottom row. So grab this color here in the bottom left of the palette. Go back to the layer. Tap on the layer and fill it. Tap on the layer and un-alpha lock it. Then go to your adjustments. Gaussian blur. And swipe from left to right until you add in a 15% blur. Like so. Tap on your adjustments when you're done. We're not going to move anything just yet. We're going to leave that as is and make our way down. We're then going to go to our layers again. We're going to move down to the blue layer now. Swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Tap on the layer and do a couple of things. Turn off the drawing assist. Tap on the layer and alpha lock it. Go to your colors. Grab the next shadow color, which is the second color on that bottom row. Go to your layers. 
Tap on the layer we're working on and fill it. Tap on that layer and un-alpha lock it. And then again, Gaussian blur. So adjustments, Gaussian blur. And swipe from left to right until you're adding a 15% blur. Tap on your adjustments when you're done. So those steps repeat every time. So go to your layers. Go down to the next layer, which is the orange layer, and swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out the two. Tap on it. Turn off the drawing assist. Tap on it and alpha lock it. Go to your colors now and grab the next shadow color, which is the third one on the bottom row. Go to your layers. Tap on that layer and fill the layer. Tap on that layer again and un-alpha lock it. And go to your adjustments, Gaussian blur and swipe from left to right, adding in again. Say it with me, 15% blur. Tap on your adjustments when you're done. Go to your layers now. Let's work on the next one down. Swipe the pink one to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out the two, tap on it. Turn off the drawing assist. Tap on the layer and alpha lock it. Go to your colors. Grab the fourth color on the bottom row. Go to your layers. Tap on the layer we're working on and fill it. Tap on the layer and turn off the alpha lock. Go to your adjustments, Gaussian blur, and swipe from left to right with a 15% blur at the top. Tap on your adjustments when you're done. Go to your layers again. The final one at the bottom is the purple one. Swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out the two, tap on the layer and turn off the drawing assist. Tap on the layer and alpha lock it. Go to your colors and grab this color at the bottom of the fifth column. Go to your layers. Tap on the layer and fill it. Tap on the layer and unalpha lock it. And go to your adjustments, Gaussian blur and swipe from left to right, adding in the final 15% blur there in the background. Tap on your adjustments when you're done. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is pick the direction we want our lighting to come from. Now my lighting is gonna come from the top left and I would recommend you do the same just so all the rules still apply and you get your highlights and shadows correct. So we're gonna take our lighting from the top left corner. So this is the really cool part. If we go to our layers now, We've got all of these blurred out shadow layers. So we've got this one at the very top, turn it on and off just to be sure. And then on all the blurred out versions, swipe from left to right to select them. So we've got all of these and you should now have five layers selected. Now grab your cursor and then you can do this really cool effect where you can just move the lighting around and you get these really cool shadows all moving around in unison. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna undo that, go back to the normal. I'm gonna drag it from the center down towards the bottom right until we end up with something like that. And you can see the gap in the top left corner there of how much I've moved it. Now that creates a beautiful casted shadow on the inside there. Let's then go ahead and tap on our cursor when we're done. And because we've got highlights coming from this way, we can add a highlighted rim to the right hand side of all these layers. And this really gives it a really crisp look to it. So let's go to our layers. We now need to work on highlights. So let's do another set of tricks to add some highlights. So your layers are gonna to start to expand. If you want to, you could group them all together to make life easier. And I'll recommend we do that at this point. So the top layer here is the very top layer and it's corresponding shadow color underneath. Swipe on both of those and group them. Collapse the group down if you want to. Then we've got the blue layer and the shadow underneath it. So the blue layer and the shadow layer, group them together, collapse the group down yellow one and the shadow underneath it select them both group them and turn your group down to collapse it and then grab the pink layer and the shadow underneath it group them together collapse that down and then grab the purple layer and the shadow underneath it and group them together and that will just keep things nice and organized and it will help you visualize it a lot better throughout the rest of the tutorial the top group then let's expand it Let's go to the very top layer and swipe it to the left and duplicate it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna tap on the top one and clipping mask it. The bottom one out the two, we're gonna tap on the layer and alpha lock it. We're gonna go to our colors here and just double tap in the top left hand corner to select white for our highlight color. Now we won't need to change our highlights at all. So this will be the only time you need to select the color. Go back to your layers. This layer we're working on, tap on it and fill it. So now what we've done is this top layer is going to be white underneath. And when we grab our top layer here, grab our cursor, you may need to just zoom out in some empty space. And what I recommend you do, exactly the same as me in the bottom right hand corner, 
I need you to tap three times in the bottom right. So one, two, three. What that will do is that will move your design three pixels down towards the bottom right. And then tap on your cursor when you're done. And now if you zoom right in, let's take a look at what we've done. You see this white line now running against the edge of everything on that layer. So you've got this beautiful highlight trim on the top of all those items on that layer. And we're going to repeat that as you go down and it will be more effective when we get down to these really darker colors. So let's go to our layers, collapse that group down and repeat that exact same step on the next group down. Expand the group. We've got the blue layer here. Swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The top one, tap on it and clipping mask it. The bottom one out the two, tap on it, alpha lock it, tap on it and fill it. And then the blue layer above, Grab your cursor, zoom out where you need to, and in the bottom right hand corner here, one, two, three, tap on your cursor when you're done, and again, look at that bunny, that bunny's now got a beautiful cutout highlight right around the edge, and this is going to look, again, look really awesome as we make our way down before we add some paper texture on top. Now, if you want to at this point, you can actually go to your actions and turn off your drawing guide to get rid of that line for a second. So let's go back to our layers, collapse that group down, go down a group, open that up, go to the yellow layer, swipe it to the left and duplicate it, and tap on that layer and clipping mask it. The bottom one out of the two, tap on it, alpha lock it, tap on it, and fill it. Again, grab your top layer, the yellow layer, grab your cursor, zoom out where necessary, and in the bottom right, one, two, three. Tap on your cursor when you're done. We're then gonna go to our layers and repeat that for two more groups. So collapse that group down, Go to your next group and expand that up. The pink layer, swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The top one, tap on it and clipping mask it. The bottom one, tap on it, alpha lock it, tap on it and fill it. And then the pink layer above, grab your cursor and tap in the bottom right hand corner three times. One, two, three. Tap on your cursor when you're done. Then go to your layers, collapse that group down and for the final group, expand that up and repeat the process. Swipe the layer to the left and duplicate it, so the purple layer. Tap on the top one and clipping mask it. Tap on the bottom one. Tap on it again and alpha lock it. Tap on it again and fill it. Go back up to the purple layer. Grab your cursor and tap in the bottom right hand corner three times. One, two, three. And then tap on your cursor when you're done. Now everything's got this beautiful crisp look to the side of it. And you've got those really beautiful shadows. Now we can go ahead and add in some paper texture. So I've added a link in the description to a paper brush. So we're going to go to our colors and first of all, grab this color here on its own. So the third column from the right, this color here, we're going to go to our groups now. And while we're here at the very bottom, let's work there. First of all, let's create a new layer. We're going to tap on that layer and clipping mask it. We're going to go to the brush. So go to your brush collection. And we're going to go to the canvas texture that I've put in the description. Now yours will be under imported again at the bottom. Now my brush size is maxed out at 100% and we're going to simply just paint all the way over the screen. You won't see too much of a visual change other than in the inside here. Go to your layers, tap on the layer and change the layer option to hard light and lower its opacity down to 50%. And now we can repeat that all the way up through our groups. So collapse that group down. Let's go up a group and open it up. Tap on the pink layer and create a new layer. Let's tap on the layer and do a couple of things. Let's clipping mask it. Tap on the N and change it to hard light. And then lower the opacity down to 50%. And again, we're now working on the pink layer. So you can tap away and just simply paint over the pink section. And it will start to take some of the color out, but it'll also drop that canvas in there. Repeat that process then for the group up. So let's collapse that group down. Let's go up to the orange layer and expand it up. Let's tap on the orange layer and create a new layer. Tap on the layer and first of all, clipping mask it. Change its layer option from normal to hard light and lower the opacity down to 50%. Again, we're working on the orange section. So just paint over the orange area, drop it in that beautiful canvas. Go to your layers, collapse that down. Go up a group expand the group and repeat go to the blue layer create another new layer tap on that and clipping mask it tap on the n and change that to the option of hard light 
and lower the opacity down to 50%. Then go ahead and simply paint over the blue section. So we're just going to drop that canvas in there, cover everything. That looks good. Let's then go to our layers, collapse that group down and go to the very top layer now. So expand that group and tap on this layer here at the very top, create a new layer, tap on the layer and clipping mask it. Tap on the end for normal and change it to hard light and lower the opacity down to 50%. And then for this one, you might want to zoom out of your canvas a little bit and then you're going to want to paint from left to right. I'm painting in fairly lightly for this one because the harder you press, you're going to get a much darker color. I'm going to press quite lightly and cover the entire canvas. And now if you pinch your two fingers, let's zoom in for YouTube and go full screen with four fingers. We end up with today's finished tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this 3D paper cutout Easter design. As always, if you did like it, drop a like down below, it helps the video out a bunch. And if you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. You can share your designs with me over on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below. Be sure to tag me in them. And shout out to my patrons. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. Or if you want to get even more tutorials every single month, including early access to videos, sneak peeks of designs before they go live, and much, much more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description down below. And as always, if you're interested in any of the equipment, I'm using the Sketchboard Pro that you can use code JOLCREATE to get 10% off, or a paper light screen cover that I use, or the pen tips, grip, and glove. There's everything in the description down below. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.